All right, so before I get into the actual tutorial part of this, I'm just gonna say, yes, I said I was quitting, but I said I wasn't sure if I was and I just needed a break for the moment. I did need a break. But the one thing I am quitting is an upload schedule. I think that is what was throwing me off so much. So I'm gonna get rid of that and I'm probably just going to upload whenever I feel like I need to. Secondly, my patio window is open. There's some noise out there, but I'm not gonna close it. So, you know, if you hear some weird noises going on, it's because it's open. <laughs> so now let's get into the tutorial. All right, so I have been uploading things to Redbubble. I have started uploading on DeviantArt again, and I also started selling my prints on um, Etsy again. Just because the markup on Redbubble is like insane. So I've been trying to sell just self-printed prints on Etsy that are just a regular um, eight and a half by 11, but printed on like cardstock. So in order to do that, I obviously need to have very high quality images. And I have just scanned in a couple of my new images, which would be these three right here I just scanned in. And I think what I'm gonna start with is my little pink haired girl. So if you can see when it's scanned in, obviously the, the color is off because it's scanned. So I have to fix the contrast and darken the pink because the pink in real life is much darker than this. But also if I'm gonna be selling this as a print, I want the white in the background to be as white as possible because if I'm printing it off of my own printer and the color is off a little bit, it's going to print like a slight shade different in the background. And I don't want that. But another reason why I need to do this um, like transparent background tutorial is because of the red bubble side of it. So if I'm uploading this to like clothing or like one of their shirts or if I want a sticker of it, I don't want it to have a background on it. So in trying to find a way to remove the background from images, I accidentally discovered this free way to do it that doesn't lose like much quality on it. It's still a good, you can still get a good quality picture to upload to Redbubble. You know, if you feel like you need a good quality one, it's not gonna take away the quality of it. And it is already on your computer as long as you are using Windows 10 or above. <laughs> Wait, there is no above. As long as you're using Windows 10, then you should be okay. So right now I'm just trying to get the picture to where I feel like it is in my hand. So I'm just holding the original up and then I'm just gonna try and match the color. <laughs> yeah, that's a little bit better. And I'm not worried about the background changing colors because we're gonna get rid of that anyways. So basically I'm just focusing all on her hair color and her body color because background doesn't matter. Okay, that seems the most accurate to me. So now I'm gonna close it so that way it saves itself like this. And there it is right there. Now to remove the background, we are going to open up Paint 3D. And let me tell you, I used to hate Paint 3D. I thought it was the worst thing in the world, especially when I couldn't find the original Microsoft Paint on my computer until I like searched for it, it's still there. But <laughs> I had to find it and I was like, why does Paint 3D keep showing up? I hate this program. But now ever since figuring out I can remove backgrounds with it, I love it. Because I used to remove backgrounds with um, Word, but then I'd have to like take a, it was just, it was too much, you know, it was too much to do it like that. But this way is much easier and it's free. So I'm just gonna hit browse files. And then I'm going to open up my file as soon as I find it. I have so many um, like folders on my computer. <laughs> so this is the one we're working with. All right, so now it's all here and it's glory. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna go over to the top left corner of the page and you wanna hit select. And now once you do that, you're gonna be able to select any part on this picture. Um, I think personally, what you need to do is just select any part of the picture that you wanna keep. It doesn't have to be a big part of it, it can be a small part of it, just any section of the picture you wanna keep to start with. And then once you have that selection, don't click anything, you wanna go over to the top left corner again and you wanna hit magic select. Then once you do that, it brings you into this other section of the program where you can select and remove sections of the picture that you want to keep and not keep. So over here, you can see a little animation where it's like if you do the car, the car shows up or if you go to, right now it's on add, but if you go over to the eraser, then you can remove parts that you don't want. So I'm just gonna stick with add 
and just gonna add in all the parts I want to keep and the program is pretty smart with determining which colors you want to keep and which colors you don't want to keep I mean obviously depending on your picture my picture is always pretty simple so it's pretty easy for them to determine what's the foreground and what's the background so to speak I guess but I have yet to not been able to get the image that I want in the end. You know, there's never been a time where I'm like, oh no, I didn't get to, you know, do what I wanted to do. Even sometimes if I had to start over because I made a mistake somewhere, in the end, I'm always able to get the image that I want. So I'm just gonna go through this and select all the parts I wanna keep. Okay, that looks pretty good to me. I think I have everything selected that I need selected. And as you can see, it's very smart in just figuring out what I need and what I don't need. Um, actually, I'm gonna add a little bit more of the black over here just because I don't want my outline to disappear. So if you need to zoom in to get your images correct, you know, like if something that's really intricate, like I have one where I have like bumblebees and they're not attached to the girl, so I had to zoom in in each bumblebee just to make sure they were added to the picture. You know, you can always do that. <laughs> but I just wanna make sure I have my outline. Actually over here I see it took off the outline altogether. I don't want that, I want my black in the picture. All right, now I feel like this is a better outlines image of what I'm wanting. I'm just gonna go in and refine a couple spots. Oh no! Okay, see, good, it did something I wanted it to do so that way I can show you if you don't want that to happen. So I selected a little bit of the white, I guess, so then it automatically thought, oh, it wants this section of white. So you just would go to remove, and then you just remove all that white. And see, it's pretty intuitive in knowing that, oh, okay, it doesn't want this white. So now I feel like that's pretty good. I'm just gonna hit done. And then once you're done, you have your own little separate image that you can work off of. So now I have this little sticker image of this girl. And now we just wanna get rid of this canvas because we don't need this anymore. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the top section of the page, you're going to hit canvas. You wanna make sure your transparent canvas is on. And then you want show canvas to be off. And then you are left with just your image. So now we wanna save this. So I'm gonna scroll down as far as I can. I don't wanna be in this, if you can see, you don't wanna be in this like ashy area. So you just wanna be above that ashy area. Then I'm gonna go to the top of the page. I'm just gonna make my image as big as it possibly can get. And that's the top, okay. <laughs> so now that I have my image all saved and nice and as big as I want it to be. I can make it a little bit bigger. <laughs> now I'm just gonna save this as a PNG image so that way my background stays transparent. So I'm gonna go to menu, save as, come over to image, and then you just wanna make sure that your little drop down is on PNG. So that way it saves as a PNG and then my system, I just wanna make sure I know which one it is so I save that as PNG as well. Actually, I'm in the wrong folder. I'm gonna go to Rebel. Okay. And then once this saves, then you're all set and you have your transparent image. If all you wanted was a transparent image, then you're good to go. You can upload this to Redbubble and you can put it on clothing. You can put it on, you can use it as a sticker. You can do whatever you want with this image. Um, I actually have to crop this a little bit, but that's not what I can do that right now. But if you're wanting to put a background on this now for selling prints, I am probably gonna have a second part to this if you want it. So I'm gonna go put a background on this image so that way I can add it to my Etsy shop and upload it. Also, if you are wanting to purchase this image, you can head over to my Etsy shop. I will put a link here. I will put a link in the description. And if you want to know what it is, it is the name of my channel. So it is thatanxiousartist.etsy.com. And I sell prints of my artwork on there. Okay, bye.